Welcome back. So in this video, we will see vulnerability scanning using Nessus. We'll move on to the demonstration. So in the previous video, we saw how to uh, download and install the Nessus, and also we saw how to uh, activate the uh, license for the Nessus. And after uh, logging into the uh, Nessus console, so you'll get the welcome message. So here straight away, you can give the targets that has to be scanned or else you can create a new scan. So for creating a new scan uh, under my scans on the top right, you can see new scan. So when you click over there, you'll get uh, many options and where you can uh, see an option advanced scan. So basically this Nessus has many options and many configurations. So through this video, I, I just want to basically to introduce you about the Nessus. So even the Nessus training itself, uh, <clears throat> we can uh, take uh, five days of training. So that much of uh, things are uh, inside this. So where uh, through this demonstration, you can understand how the vulnerability scanning is done and how uh, to analyze the vulnerabilities and how to interpret the vulnerabilities. So, and uh, uh, basically this uh, video will give you the uh, uh, understanding about the vulnerability assessment. So here you can give any name for your uh, assessment. I'm just giving the name as uh, demo and you can uh, give any description you want and here you can define the target. So you can define the target uh, individually. You can specify uh, any IP that has to be scanned or if you want to scan uh, the entire subnet you can give uh, slash 24 <clears throat> so that entire subnet can be scanned or if you want to scan a series of IPs uh, say example I want to scan between uh, 5 to uh, 10 so I want to scan all the uh, machines which has the IPs between 10.0 10.10.10.5 .10 to 10 so which means uh, only six IPs is going to be scanned <clears throat> in this scan so after giving this uh, uh, values uh, you can press save and if required you can also give the credentials so using which the scan has to be done so if you add the credentials you can add the ssh credential or snmp credential or uh, windows credentials so if you give the credentials you will get more uh, efficient uh, or effective reports but still uh, for now uh, for this demo i just want to give, do the basic scan and after that you can save it and now you can see the scan has been saved here and once the scan has been saved even if required you can also schedule it so for now i don't want to schedule i'm going to perform this on demand so on the top right uh, you can see the launch button so when you click on that the scan will <coughs> start so uh, based on the number of ips you included uh, in in the target so based on that the duration may vary so uh, for now, uh, uh, the duration may be around uh, uh, 5 to 10 minutes or around 15 minutes. So we'll just wait for a while. So in the meanwhile, uh, uh, I may pause the recording and resume the recording. So don't want to <coughs> record the ideal time. So I'll, I'll just resume the recording once the uh, scanning is done. So now the scanning is completed. So it took around 13 minutes to complete the scan for uh, uh, six IPs. So now we'll uh, uh, get into the scanning and we'll see the results. And here you can see uh, it has found uh, only five IPs. So only five IPs are live. So uh, the first IP 10.5, uh, it has uh, more uh, vulnerability see here you can see the <coughs> vulnerability level so the any anything which is in critical so that is a, a severe vulnerability so which has to be uh, given attention immediately and anything above medium, medium and high and critical that has to be uh, 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 taken into consideration immediately and you need to uh, take actions uh, immediately and also uh, okay we'll just uh, get into one by one so the first IP if you'll see the report of the first IP so this particular virtual machine is running with the uh, Linux kernel it is running with Ubuntu uh, 8.04 uh, 
so which has a more vulnerability so basically this particular virtual machine uh, it has more vulnerable uh, services and more vulnerable configurations which is used for our demo purpose and the one I can see in Mixit, which will have multiple issues, uh, which will have more critical vulnerabilities. So you can see the first one is multiple vendor DNS query. You can just get into further details. And this remote DNS resolver does not use random port. And when making queries to third party DNS servers, an unauthenticated remote attacker can exploit this to poison the remote DNS server, allowing the attacker to divert the legitimate traffic to arbitrary sites. So this is a very serious vulnerability. So uh, on assessment of the vulnerability, you need to first uh, get into the look into the uh, CVSS score. CVSS is Common Vulnerability Scoring System. So for any score which is uh, uh, 8 or higher than that which is a serious vulnerability so this particular uh, watch machine has a, a CVSS score of 9.1 so which is a serious one we need to uh, take actions immediately and also uh, below the description you can see the solution so contact the DNS server vendor for a patch so your uh, you need to con if to fix this issue you will need to inform the uh, vulnerability to the uh, 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 dns server vendor so that they can fix on that and also here we can see the result so you can also share this result with the vendor so that they can take actions accordingly and for this vulnerability if there is any uh, exploits uh, readily available here you can see the vulnerability information so here it is saying that the exploit is available and that is set to true so which means that so uh, for using this vulnerability anyone can exploit to this vulnerability and they can gain access to this machine and this is how you can uh, go through the uh, vulnerability informations let me check on other uh, IPs also and uh, also this particular IP also has critical vulnerability and this machine is running with Windows XP so since this is an old operating system so just I want to show you about the uh, uh, risk factors uh, if anyone who is using uh, the older version of the operating system and here you can see it has more critical vulnerabilities so nearly five critical vulnerabilities first let us check into the first one so the vulnerability in SMB could allow remote code execution so the the remote version of the Windows contains a flaw in the SMB so where the implementation that may allow the attacker to execute arbitrary code on the remote host an attacker does not need to be authenticated to exploit this flaw so and for this what is the solution so Microsoft has released a set of patches so you can uh, install that so you can go through the uh, this particular URL and you can verify what are all the patches has to be installed and based on that you can fix this and for this also you can see the uh, CVSS score is uh, uh, even 10.0 so it is too high and uh, for this uh, vulnerability is there exploit available yeah exploit is available true and through which exploit we can uh, uh, exploit this exploit with uh, core impact so th for this you, you can just uh, straight away uh, use the core features so through which you can exploit this vulnerability let us also verify one more critical vulnerability and this also has the remote code execution vulnerability the remote host is vulnerable to buffer overrun in the server service that may allow an attacker to execute arbitrary code on the remote so this also has the severe vulnerability and its CVSS score is uh, uh, 10.0 and the temporal score is 8.3 and uh, for this also exploit is available and uh, how this exploit can be used even uh, you can use metasploit here you can see so metasploit has a uh, uh, exploit uh, within it so using which you can exploit the vulnerability so basically uh, uh, all the uh, 
uh, informations you get through the vulnerability scanning so using which you can uh, take the appropriate actions so generally uh, any vulnerability with the, which has the information might not be as serious but anything uh, any vulnerability which is mentioned as medium high or critical is going to be a very serious uh, issue so this is how you can scan the vulnerability and you can assess and also i have one more machine windows 10 computer so windows 10 computer it is already patched up so that's why it doesn't have any more vulnerability but still it has a medium vulnerability smb signing is not required and also for this also you can see uh, the <clears throat> um, exploit is available true so this is also or going to be a, a serious vulnerability but since the vulnerability score is the CVS score is uh, less than uh, 8 so that uh, you can take the action uh, later maybe first you need to give the priority to the critical vulnerabilities then high vulnerabilities and then you can give the, um, uh, the third priority to the medium vulnerabilities so I believe we got a better understanding about the vulnerability scanning and uh, understanding the vulnerability informations and how to take actions accordingly and that's all for this video so we'll discuss the rest of the topics in the upcoming videos until then bye bye